Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Red Dragon Magic Wand SE K655. Pretty long name, but this is a budget keyboard that goes for around 45 US dollars. And right now they have a spring sale which is 15% off, so it is basically $5 off. Save on those taxes. This is a 75% compact layout keyboard that still features arrow keys and a numpad as well with some media keys at the top of the keyboard so i was quite interested and especially for that price wanted to see what they were offering inside the box you get the keyboard itself really cheap keycap and switch puller i think we should probably forego these they are not good at all and they should just start including ones like everybody else does that is a dual-sided one because those are a lot easier to use and of course it comes with the wire itself. The keyboard does not have a top cover. It is sort of like the drop alt which did not have a top cover. It was like lower. Not necessarily a low profile keyboard since it still uses regular switches and keycaps. But it just makes the RGB look a little bit cooler. It does make the keyboard sound a little bit higher pitched. So there is some pros and cons to this. Now design wise I think it looks quite cool. There are some macro keys at the top left corner and at the top right corner we have some media keys and a volume roller. Now all of these keys function perfectly fine but I will say that they are not mechanical switches so some of them are a bit mushy or harder to press than others but they all definitely do work on my model and of course with Red Dragon keyboards, we always have that side USB-C placement that I never liked. Needs to say, this keyboard is okay. It is nothing groundbreaking other than the media keys at the top. It's really reminiscent of older Corsair keyboards that were around $120 back in the day, but at a fraction of the cost which is great to see and another thing that's cool is this is hot swappable with five pin support but where it does fall short is in every other aspect of what you would expect in a mechanical keyboard the stabilizers are mushy and they just don't feel good they also have a lot of rattle the switches are mushy the keycaps use a very weird profile and are pretty cheaply made and there is no case or plate foam in this keyboard the last thing that I forgot to mention was the fact that this is tray mounted. You are using a very stiff keyboard with no case foam or plate foam, bad stabilizers, bad switches, and low quality keycaps. If they included case foam and plate foam, this keyboard could be a lot better option because that totally voids the need to open up this keyboard. The fact that we have to do that adds a lot of a longer process to the modification because these are plate mounted stabilizers so you don't necessarily have to take the keyboard apart to swap those out and this is a hot swappable keyboard as well so you don't need to take apart the keyboard to change those out as well when there are so many great budget keyboards on the market it is kind of hard to recommend unless you're willing to do a lot of effort in modifications to make this keyboard sound and feel good as well here's a quick sound test of how it sounds right out the box I don't think it sounds good and it feels very mushy, but like I said, there is room for improvement. You can modify this keyboard quite well as you can take it apart. It is hot swappable with five pins. You can easily change out the stabilizers and the keycaps. So there is definitely room for improvement. It's just up to you on whether or not you want to take the time and effort it takes to do all of those changes. If you are wanting to do that, I'll be leaving a link to it in the description below. But let me know what you guys think about the Magic One SE K655 in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.